Gus from Profile Racing. I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what we got going on for the new year with the Elite Cranks. And uh, so we introduced Long Time Waiting. And uh, here is the, uh, the new gear for the Elite Cranks. I'm not sure what we're going to call it yet. We're not, we're not going to call it Elite. We already have the Elite gear. It's kind of a weird scenario, but it's, but it's going to work out. So you'll be able to get the kit. The kit's still going to come with the two arm spindle, bottom bracket, and a spider. And then the upgrade to a single gear like this. Now what I did do was the 46 tooth one is like probably going to be the largest one we're going to make for now. And it's just under five ounces, 46 tooth gear. So it'll be spline drive. Um, other than that, we make it in-house. Everything's done, you know, laser etched in-house. So it'll be good. I think people are going to like it. Hey, this is Richard Uvard from Stats Bicycles. And I'm Ted Saville with Kiari Parts. And Stats Bicycles. And Stats Bicycles. And I'm also from Kiari Parts. We're out here in the race paddock in Las Vegas. It's a nice, beautiful, balmy afternoon. Got the US Pro Crit Race going on here. Road racing, but we're hoping to make lots of BMX impressions out here. Got the new Stats Bloodline. Seven different complete sizes, 10 different frames. Got a lot of colors going on, colorways. This here is our new team bike, the Grand Premio. Got our team sponsors on here. And in addition to the custom green, carry green stealth hubs, Pro Max cranks. On the team issue bike, notice on the very front, we got the new carbon fork here and here. The new Victor 1, 16 ounces. We think it's the lightest full carbon fork on the market. Continuous carbon fiber from the steer tube. Patented design cam tail legs. Complete bike line is over here. Got the mini here. This particular one is the Continental in the tricolor. Our bars and forks from Chiari, the new automatic fork and the Atta bar, the new aluminum bars. Also color design so that they'll integrate with the bikes no matter which ones you get. This is the Continental. Got the Camaroso here in the Junior. The Cali Sport here in the yellow, the Ventura yellow. This is the Expert XL. One of the cool features on all of the Stats bikes, if you look at the back, it might be hard for you to get back down in the back there, you'll see our new drop slot. This is enhanced from what we had before in the past. Gave it a 3D shelf. That allowed us to open up the back end a little bit, still keep the proper spacing for the hub, but make our, our chain line really straight, not have any clearance issues with the, uh, the tire or the chain. Also upgraded all the hardware. The most unique thing about that drop slot is you can drop the wheel in and out, not have to adjust the chain or the brake. Or the brake. Super cool setup. Also, you see our new OE crank. We're going to be doing an aftermarket version of this crank as well. The aftermarket version will be called the Turbino. We went with the classic uh, BMX uh, design. Obviously, it was uh, born out of the original road bike cranks, but we like the real clean look straight crank. Moving on down to the uh, Moto Bond, which is the black bike. The full size bikes will come in the yellow, the black. We also do a polished bike called the Super Moto 30 that's got a PF30 bottom bracket for those oversized crank needs. So seven complete bikes. The completes come in two colors, 10 frames. Each of the frames come in three. Once we start doing the uh, second run on these bikes, which will happen pretty quickly because we expect them to sell out, then also we have the stems, both top load and the front load design. This is the front load here. In five beautiful colors, Chiari Team Green, every one of them monikered with the uh, saying from Alberto himself, love your bike, and the top load design as well. These are our OE seats. Uh, they're still a work in progress, but we're going to be doing hopefully some full uh, Italian leather saddles coming up here in the near future that will be for aftermarket. Give you a real saddle on your race bike. And then this here is a close up of like our new, uh, or our, it is a close up of our new integrated quick release. We call it the Knockin' Well. Don't ask me why. There was a reason why we came up for that. But since we have a proprietary seat clamp that goes inside of our frame into our QR socket, a lot of guys were asking us, a lot of riders were asking us for a quick release uh, for their bike, and so we developed that. So even uh, some of the older stats frames over the last couple of years that had the integrated seat clamp can buy this for aftermarket, and again, it comes in the Chiari colors, polished green, red, blue, and black. Uh, new chain rings are over here, and our integrated headset, and our spacers. We call the, the bolts the Bolognese, the Anelli spacers, and our Corona chain ring. Got the team issue green, 
38 to 45 tooth. These are all 4 bolt 104. 104. And we'll be uh, probably producing a 5 bolt 110 sure. bolt pattern shortly. Uh, integrated headsets, uh, again, in all the same colors, one inch and one and a quarter, one although these eight. are one and an eighth. Yes, I'm sorry, one inch and one and an eighth. And these are all uh, campy style, which is uh, working with our head tubes on our bikes. Got our handlebars. Again, the uh, new alloy bars from Chiari uh, called the Atta Bar. Uh, and again, all of our bars and forks are painted to match our frames. Obviously, if you have a red frame or white frame from another manufacturer, We'd prefer you to have a stats frame, of course, but we'd love for you to run our bar and fork regardless. Beautiful colors, deep, rich color. Add a bar in, it, in uh, alloy, and the new crossbow is the uh, Pro Molly. Well, we're a BMX company, a BMX race company, and since we're a BMX race company and the push bike uh, phenomena seems to be with us to stay, we decided we wanted to do a very cool push bike that was BMX and stats worthy, BMX race and stats worthy. So integrated headset, separate stem and bar, pneumatic tires, real real tires, bearings in the wheels. These are all not uh, specialties, but in the push bike market, they might be leather at saddle with the brass uh, rivets for a very comfortable fast ride for the little wolf pups available in two colors, whatever your gender preference. What's up? I'm Todd Lyons with SE Bikes. Got all kinds of bikes here, but one of our most special bikes this year is the Santa Cruz Big Ripper. Collaboration bike with Santa Cruz. Not Santa Cruz bicycles, but collaboration with Santa Cruz skateboards. Santa Cruz skateboards have been around for 40 years. So part of their 40 year anniversary celebration is a Santa Cruz Big Ripper. All decked out with uh, Santa Cruz, the Screaming Hand logos, the Big Ripper, Big Ripper uh, font, and the San Big Ripper in the Santa Cruz font has a nice little graphics on the seat about their 40-year anniversary. This bike actually also comes with a skateboard deck, Santa Cruz skateboard deck with you know the Screaming Hand, the famous logos on the bottom, and then on the top we have the uh, SE Wing logo with the Screaming Hand drawn in. And this logo is redrawn in by Jim Phillips. Jim Phillips is the original artist from back in the day that drew the Screaming Hand back in the 70s. You know, you think SE, SE Bikes, SE Racing's been around for a long time, since 77. We've been around 36 years, I believe. Santa Cruz has been around 40 years, so they're even more OG than SE Bikes. Up here we got the PK Ripper Elite XL, same frame that uh, Javier Colombo's racing on out there. This year the, the bike weighs 20.8 pounds and the retail price is $609. So really good, really good price to, price to weight ratio. Uh, last year we, we took the down tube, re-engineered the frame, made the down tube a bi-oval down tube, make it a lot stiffer. Uh, and then also changed the chain stays and seat stays, welded them as wide as possible to the bottom bracket, welded them a little bit wider at the seat tube. Uh, the forks on this bike also, it's kind of hard to tell, you know, with the landing gear forks, a lot of people think, oh, those are just those old school, you know, landing gear forks, but this landing gear fork is actually a tapered fork, so it's a little bit lighter weight, updated version of the landing gear fork, like I said, tapered fork. The stems now, we have a hidden top cap, so the top cap doesn't even stick out, it's flush with the top of the stem. Lightweight cranks on this bike, pivotal seat and seat, or pivotal seat and seat post. Uh, new this year is Alienation Rims, front and rear. We have the Alienation Rims on all of our Elite Series race bikes. Tioga tires, uh, like I said, $600, $609, 20.8 pounds. You can't beat it.